Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get started. In today's video you will find out how the price of Bitcoin has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, EMA and MACD are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. By taking a closer look at the hourly time frame for Bitcoin, the price went down only slight by about 0.8% in the last 24 hours and has a current price of 9,575. Moving to the hourly simple moving averages, the current price is below all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bearish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 200 SMA will play as resistance or the price will break it to the upside above the current price of around 9,654. It's important to note that currently the price is below the 200 SMA, which is normally a strong resistance. A potential move upwards, however, could be signaled if it were to break decisively upwards. Jumping to the hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is below the hourly ribbon, which is generally bearish and the ribbon could play as a resistance, so it is to watch if the price will bounce off it or break it. The current price to watch is around 9,665. However, the ribbon is compressed, which means the current trend is not very strong and a trend change could be expected. Generally, when the price moves sideways, the ribbon gets less accurate. Moving to the the moving average convergence divergence, or short MACD, it uses two moving averages usually the 12 period and the 26 period moving average subtracted from each other to create a single line, the MACD line. Another line is used as a signal line, which is usually the 9 period EMA. You should watch for crossing between these two lines for a trend change respectively a trigger for buy and sell signals. There is also a histogram often to the MACD indicator, which shows the strength of the trend. If we now look at the current hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently strong and it could be expected the price to go further to the downside. Moving to the three hourly simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 100 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 100 SMA which is currently at 9,495 it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 9,690 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Pointedly, the current price is above the 200 SMA, which is perceived as a strong support. Nevertheless, if there were to be a decisive downward dip, it will signal a possible big move down. Jumping to the three hourly exponential moving averages, the current price went below the three hourly ribbon, so you should wait to see if the price will jump back above the ribbon or it will act as a resistance to the upside which is at around 9,631 at the moment. Looking at the three hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently strong and it could be expected the price to go further to the downside. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time. Next time.